Hey guys, welcome back to today's episode of Jaffle Plays. I'm a completely different person because, I don't know, I want to be. We're facing off against the Dark Emissary. It's the Heart of Darkness episode. Or Heart of the Darkness. Yeah. Um, yeah, I gotta kill him. Then he's gonna spawn back here again. And then I'm gonna kill him again. Always considered in shadow mode. Yeah. I gotta so kill him and kill him and kill him. We're just gonna keep killing him until mode. he stops coming back. And it... Hurts us to breathe in this because it's getting dark and coughity. <coughs> um, when we get down there, it's going to get really dark and coughity. So it's <coughs> like hairball style. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We all and we come back. Hands. I'm on activation number two of three. So charge! As I yelled before. <laughs> I will roll six dice against his two. Echo. <laughs> Loudness oh. and metal chairs. Yeah, really good. <laughs> oh, this is so Mel this is so, so nicely. Pretty. This is so pretty. Ooh. I have two bams. I can make that minus four defense. Um, I think I'll make it minus four defense. Yeah. This is what I'm gonna do. No! I'm in light. I'm gonna make it minus one attack die and in case he gets to attack and my and plus one wound. So one wound. Wound. Put a wound. Get a wound right there. Got wound counters over here. Pretty good. I get plus four swords for charge. So two, four, five, six, seven. Plus four is eleven. Minus one is ten. He takes ten wounds and he goes. <laughs> My ear drops. Everybody in the room is deaf. I get some gloves of fast hands. I think I'll wear those in my with my mage's charm and ring of shadowy charm of protection. Um, they get rid of this card, and I'll find... Where's the black one? Right there. The black one is right here. So here's what we're going to have to deal with when we get to that. He's, he's kind of scary. Okay, he's going to come here and, and fall down until we get ready to bring him back. What? Okay. And... Uh, and what else have we got? Uh, that was one action. To get there, one action to charge. I think it's just the take, obvious. Take your artifact. One action to pick up this token and take an artifact for me. Can you wear multiple sets of gloves? Why not? Because you just got the Berserker's Gauntlets. Defense plus two shield plus one melee. A t melee action with plus me melee plus yeah, yeah. sword. Brave words. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't move fast enough. Bummer. Uh, why can't I? Look, they're, they kind of look like they slide over. They look like they're actually like slip-ons, so I just slip them on top of. See? These are full body gauntlets, and these are just like slip-ons. So we're just going to slip these on. I can reorganize my yeah, trades with things. That one would be nice. Which neither one? of them. Which one? <laughs> the artifact. Yeah. Since we're both melee. I think I've become much better melee now. Oh, he got five experience for blowing him up! Which means I get an experience phase. I do too. Okay, we got an enemy phase. Tunk, tunk. And give me a level four guy. Level four guy. Hey, look. Those goblin archers are back. Those goblin archers. They go here. Oh. What? Oh, yeah. And they have the meteor hammer. Ooh. Yeah. Hammer. Not as good. No? Well, I lose an attack. I lose a yellow die if I get it, but I bam for blue minus one blue die and diamond for minus one defense die. That's not too bad. Yeah. I like the hammer. My two bams for minus four defense. Period. Um, so that's where we're at. It's kind of exciting, guys. Can you all see it? Yes, you can. We have an experience phase. We do! I am spending that to gain regeneration three. I need to get five more experience to get my other uh, health and regen. That's cool. 
I'm just gonna go slaughter things now. Um. So should I get uh, purge level five, healer level four, or faith level four? I don't know what they do, so do them. Pick something. While you do that, I will begin our punishment. At the level minus one. While you're there, please grab me the top level four car guard card. The dwarf warriors. The dwarf warriors will now be wielding composite longbows. Conveniently, what is, what the melee that? guys got a ranged weapon, and the ranged guys got a melee weapon. Life is good. Dwarf warriors. They come in right here. Now, if you need experience, we can stay on this level for another turn. If you do not need experience, let's kill! Besides, we do have to get into here. Flip these tokens down so that we can open him up. No, I'm going to do that. Him. So I got faith level four. I'll spend one action to roll two green dice and uh, I can heal you based off of how many shields. Damn, have. that's level. That's awesome. I like that. <coughs> so if I wasn't built to be a close up guy, I totally, I totally would have gone and built range guy. I think. There we go. I Back it up just a little bit so you can see the expanding the universe. Last skill. This He's a good a build. I just don't like that class skill. Mostly because it goes against the way we've been playing this game since the very beginning. And we've been playing this game for like two months straight. And it's always get in the dark, shoot the bad guys. Get in the dark, shoot the bad guys. Get in the light only if you have to. Now it's get in the light, get in I the light, get in the light. I can see them doing like a interchangeable. He might work real well for the crystal and lava. There might be a lot more light. So we'll see. Because... I'd like to play him again, just possibly not with the Lightbringer ability, if possible. Uh, I'm looking to get eight more experience if I can, but not this time. So, we'll start the new round. I get the special marker. I'll take both damage, because I'm going to heal through you. <laughs> and then, <laughs> it was nice meeting you. You can, you can turn down you can turn down the four because it's time to turn up for what charge charge goblin <laughs> agent or troglodyte agent he gets three blue dice at least it's not the rest so. <laughs> any of the lizard men I'm going to slaughter your face in. um oh he's in shadow so he does get plus two defense. So I actually have to try. Not by now. And with a roll like that, not at all. <laughs> I actually have things I can't even use. So I'm going to give him... I'm going to use them. Uh, I'll use this for a wound. He takes a wound automatically. Then, I will use this to give him minus two attack dice if he gets a counterattack. <clears throat> I don't think he will. <clears throat> Three, six, cheating myself out of points. Eight, nine, ten, plus four is fourteen. Minus three is eleven. Dead! That's what that is. You would have one shot. Uh, <laughs> almost. that back. I will take my crappy scepter. I'm going to take my four experience. I will also take my four <laughs> experience. One, two, three, four. Oh, hey, look. We hit. We did! So, his treasure is the ogre mug. So, here's how this one works. The final guy does not get a treasure to add to it. We're going to flip up another greater roaming monster card. This one in particular the is the ogre mage. He gains any of the bonuses instead that are there. and assign it as if it were equipment. It's dice and enchantments are added to the ogre mage, so he doesn't get the health, but he is gonna get more combat, more magic, more, magic, more armor. <laughs> I'm gonna have to work on this one, kids, 
don't worry, I've got two doors to kill at. So that was my first action. My faith, my faith, my faith. <laughs> that was the first action. <laughs> I'm opening the door as my second action. So we're going to spawn a door. I'm going to do the fun stuff first. What did we get? Three treasures there. And three treasures there. And a guard card wielding a level five piece of equipment. So. At the front door. The orc enforcers. With a wand of healing. All right. So the guys that were just out. Yeah, they pretty much <laughs> were. And I didn't let them see the light of day. He's like sleeping on the job. <laughs> How he was placed. So. <laughs> it's like, this treasure is comfy. <laughs> uh, lightning bolt. Lightning bolt is a one. Is one damage. I'm paying attention this time. But it says attack, and I would assume attack, I have to be able to reach them. And because all of my shit is literally melee, same zone, I'm going to play it as such. So, I have one more action remaining, and you know what that means? Time to charge! I get six of these. Minion. They Spend get... And an experience. They, they get two and one. I will spend one experience point to immediately kill you! Get. Get off of my board! It's my spot. <laughs> my spot. He, he glitched into the wall. Oh, this is a Bethesda game. <laughs> okay. He glitched into the wall. He's now dead. Alright, here we go. My six dice versus their three. Oh, this is not looking good for them. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't use that ability twice to zap them dead. <laughs> them yes, dead. I do. Scoobity doo. But here's how this will work. Whoa. You overkill. I'm yeah, you. pretty much. I'm going to make it so they have minus three attack dice. I still yeah. have one wound left, which I can throw there. And then I get <laughs> two, four... 7, 8, 9, 10, 14, minus 2 is 12. Oh my god, do I ever crush <laughs> this guy. He is so lucky he has essentially infinite health against the uh, for the boss. Now they get their attacks back. They get minus 3... They get minus 3 attack dice. So we'll generate their attack pool first. We'll generate my defensive pool first. And then we'll affect their dice. Minus three <laughs> means they don't get any of that. I rolled more than they did. Do da, do da. And I still have a headbutt! So they didn't even get to do that yet before I headbutt. And I put three of the four wounds on them. Ow! <laughs> do not mess with me, little minions! Big boss guy. <laughs> Tiny boss man. Tiny boss man. My turn. Now it's your turn. What you doing? Run away from all the crap upstairs. Two. One, two. That's it. I can't attack. <laughs> you should learn to get charge. <laughs> Don't do charge. Oh, and by the way, the Abyssal Demon now, if you have any kind of range attacks, he gets defense, spam, and diamonds, he heals. But he is minus two swords attacking. Well. Because light mode. I even, like, crossed out shadow mode and wrote light mode. Well. Sorry. Experience phase. Experience phase, I need five more. So I don't get it yet. The end of the round. No, the event phase. You didn't actually need healing, did you? Uh, I could use one, because we're about to bleed more. 
But if you need health first, take the health. Well, if I spend one action, which I have, I get two green dice. And heal one ally or any allies? Heal the number of shields from the hero or one ally in line of sight. Well, roll it and heal somebody. <laughs> Do you need it? I <laughs> am one down. I'll take it and then I'll take most of the damage. So. <laughs> All right, we go here. An unexpected monster! Uh -oh. Spawn a roaming monster card. At the current level, minus one. So here. With a level five. It's a level five hellhound. Weep. What does he get to wield? Healing potion. Ha <laughs> ha. Nothing. You have nothing. Uh, you start, right? Yes, I will. Um, okay, so start of the round. We take a total of three damage, or four damage. I'll right. take three of it. Because I can heal three. You need to kick so, open that door. We're going. You should kick open this door and Wait, go this way. How much do you heal, like, regen? I regen three. Okay, well then I'll take my Ring of Braveness twice, the signature. Fine. And I'm back up to my full. Okay. And what am I doing? You go this way. Okay. Open. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, crap. What, what happened? Did I get ambushed? Yes, you did! You're in light, though. That's actually <laughs> good. That's kind of good. <laughs> yeah, apparently that's not very good. What are they? What are you getting? The Reptosaurian Blowgunners. The Reptosaurian Blowgunners. Poison! How many do you get? Four? Two per. Four it is. Whiff! Chain mail. Uh, all right. So they max out blue dice completely. Sweet. Don't worry, we'll kill them. They max out blue and two green. So what is the thing once they activate? At the start of a hero's activation, remove one of the wounds. They have to attack, bam you, and they put three wound counters on you. At the start of your then next three activations, they poison okay. drip you. But we'll find out what happens from this ambush tomorrow! Come back, see what happens. We're getting near the end! It's getting exciting! On Jaffo, please. <laughs>